So we have this one viewer that comments on every single video asking me to break down the iPad mini 6 rumors and predictions. So I'm going to do just that with the goal of answering three questions. One, is there really going to be a new iPad mini 6 coming soon? Two, when can we realistically expect that iPad to get released? And three, what features and changes should we expect to see? But before we start with the first question and take a look at rumors, I want to show you guys Apple's iPad release timeline so we can try and understand why and how Apple releases iPads. And by the way, we just got our new Max Tech logo t-shirt, which you can find right below this video in our merch shelf. It all started with the original iPad, which was already updated four times when the first iPad mini showed up in late 2012. And in 2013, Apple updated the mini again, but they chose not to update the iPad because they just released the first gen iPad Air. So they probably didn't want it to clash with the iPad. In 2015 and 2016, the iPad Pro was released. And at that point, Apple stopped updating the iPad Air because the price points would clash and they also wanted all the attention to go to the iPad Pro for the next couple of years while later releasing new budget iPads for the lower end market. And finally in 2019, they brought back the iPad Air and the iPad Mini and the main reason why they did that was because they finally raised the price of the iPad Pro to $800, leaving enough of a gap to reintroduce the iPad Air for $500 and the very similar iPad Mini for $400. So now Apple has finally created an iPad for every price point and market, maximizing the potential for sales. So the point of all of this is to show you guys that we should expect Apple to move forward with this strategy and continue offering this complete lineup going into the future. And one important thing we can learn from this timeline is that every single time an iPad mini gets released, it's always alongside another iPad release every single time. And it's also very important to notice that Apple is currently going through a modernization phase, which started with the 2018 iPad Pro's modern design. There are tons of rumors of Apple completely redesigning the iMac to look more like a current iPad Pro. And the reason it makes sense for them to do that is because they're switching over to their own custom ARM chips. So that big of a change deserves a new design. And then there's the 16 inch MacBook Pro, which was redesigned with slimmed down modern bezels and rumors of Apple doing the same with the 14 inch MacBook Pro next year. Not only that, but Apple's upcoming iPhone 12 is also rumored to be getting iPad Pro like square edges. And there are so many rumors of the iPad Air getting a larger display and square edges as well. So it seems like Apple is sweeping through their entire lineup within a short period of time reducing bezels, increasing display sizes, and redesigning their devices so they all look very similar to each other based on the new square edge design. And because we're expecting a newly redesigned iPad Air to get released soon, potentially within a few months, it wouldn't make sense for Apple to keep the iPad mini the same with the old design for very long. So let's get into the rumors to see if and when we should expect the iPad mini 6. The first rumors we saw came in March with the very reliable analyst Ming Shi Kuo who noted that Apple is going to release a bunch of mini LED display Apple devices this year, including a new 7.9 inch iPad mini. However, there were many rumors pointing to this mini LED technology being delayed until the first half of 2021. And in May, Ming Shi Kuo changed his expectations for the iPad mini to get released in the first half of 2021. And at the same time, he mentioned that we should expect a new 10.8 inch iPad, which is most likely the iPad Air, to get released later this year. And only a couple of weeks ago, we heard another rumor from Digitimes that said the same thing. A 10.8 inch iPad Air coming this year and a new iPad mini in the first half of next year alongside a new 12.9 inch iPad Pro. So based on those rumors, we can answer the first question and say yes, the iPad mini 6 is coming for sure and in less than a year. And as far as the timing, since we know that the iPad mini always gets released alongside a different iPad, there are two possibilities. 
Either the iPad mini will get released alongside the Air later this year, maybe in October or November, or it'll get released alongside the iPad Pro coming next year, which is the most likely option since Ming-Chi Kuo believes it'll come with a new mini LED display, which is now apparently delayed to 2021. And because both he and Digitimes are expecting a 2021 release date, it's most likely that the iPad Mini 6 will be released in the first half of 2021. And now let's address the last question. Which features and specs should we expect to see? Well, if it does get released next year, we can almost certainly expect it to come packing a new mini LED display. And the rumors are also pointing to the display size being at least 8 inches instead of 7.9. And the only way it makes sense to do this is if Apple gets rid of the physical home button on the iPad mini. And to do this, Apple has two options, either add Face ID or implement an under-display fingerprint sensor, which has been rumored for a while now. Now there is the chance that Apple may choose to reserve Face ID for their higher-end iPads, so it's really tough to call right now. And if Apple does make the display larger and get rid of the home button, we can expect the display to have rounded corners and the sides of the iPad to be squared off to match the new modern styling of the current iPad Pro and the future iPhone 12 models. And as far as the internals, we should expect the iPad Mini 6 to come with the same new 5 nanometer A14 chip with 4 gigs of RAM as we expect to come in the iPhone 12. And we should also expect it to come with 128 gigs of storage at the base price, which is expected to come to even the cheapest iPhone 12. Rumors are also pointing to it sticking with the Lightning connector, just like the iPhone 12, but we should definitely expect it to get Wi-Fi 6 and maybe even sub-6 5G connectivity for the LTE models. And as far as the price, it could very likely stay at the same $400, unless Apple decides to raise the price of their entire iPad lineup in 2021 by maybe $50 to make up for inflation and the more expensive mini LED displays. So hopefully you learned something new from this video, and if you did, be sure to check out our new Max Tech t-shirt designs right below this video, and click that circle above to subscribe for more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.